day number eight. Just did 20 minutes and same thing as yesterday. I flew by without me checking my phone. I opened my eyes once just to look at the water. And then another minute or so after the timer was done. I wanted to talk today about a topic that a few of my friends have made videos on that I wanted to share my input on the topic of addiction. Uh, I just wanted to share my personal story. After listening to Handyman Bananas video and my friend Victor Van Ramutan, not his real name, uh, both shared stories of addiction with uh, drugs and alcohol. For me, my story is a little bit different. I um, was never really big into the drugs or the alcohol. I never smoked a cigarette in my life. Um, I did quit drinking about a year ago, but I was never really big into drinking, except maybe like college a little bit, but it was nothing to... Uh, more just social drinking. And, uh, but I quit about a year ago because after doing raw foods and really cleaning out my body and being in tune with my body, just alcohol just did not work for me anymore. It just, it no longer felt good. I would pretty much get the symptoms of a hangover immediately upon drinking, chest pains, headache. Just, it, it was just no longer a pleasurable experience for me, so I had to stop. Um, as far as drugs, uh, I did smoke a little bit of pot in college and a little bit afterwards, but it never really did that much for me. Never really got into it. Kind of glad that uh, I didn't. I never did anything beyond that. Um, but my main struggle for about over a decade was caffeine. And I know that sounds kind of silly compared to a lot of the other drugs out there, or addictions or problems, but it really had a negative impact on my life. Growing up, my parents never let me have soda, so I could only get it when I was out with friends or somebody else's house or uh, you know outside of the home. And when I turned 16 or around age 16, I started working at a pizza place and they had Surge on tap, which if you remember was this green soda with lots of caffeine, and I immediately took to it. And I had it on tap there, so I could drink it whenever I wanted. So I drank it all the time, and the, the stimulation buzz was amazing. I liked drinking green stuff, which I still do to this day. I'm not sure what my affinity is with that. I like the color green. And I guess I'm wearing a green shirt. I really took to it. And uh, <laughs> that summer I got my first cavities ever at the dentist. And uh, my mom was really on me about uh, stop drinking so much soda, but I just got addicted to it. And then in college, you know, keeping a wacky sleep schedule, um, was drinking Mountain Dew all the time, and just, I was depressed a lot, and caffeine was a really great antidepressant, and um, just kept doing it, and became really dependent on it, and people would say, oh, why don't you drink coffee, and I never, ever liked coffee, still don't, don't want to touch the stuff. Um, but it really started getting a grip on my life where it's like if I didn't have it, I just felt terrible and couldn't function. And, um, and it, yeah, it was always soda, Mountain Dew, Surge, Vault. And God help me in the mid-2000s when energy drinks came out. I remember I was at, a, uh, it was at the U.S. Open Footbag Hacky Sack Championships in summer of 2006. And uh, Rockstar Energy Drinks was a sponsor. I fell in love with those things right away when they were free, and I was drinking about six of them a day. And, um, ugh, gross. But I just, I became so addicted to how good it made me feel that I couldn't stop. And, you know, the lows, you know, make me feel so awful without it. I just became so dependent on it. And by the time late 2000s rolled around, 2008, 2009, 2010, and it was bad. I was drinking two of them a day, sometimes three. So I had this like, you know, five dollar a day, hundred fifty dollar a month energy drink habit that I was supporting. 
and um, I would lie to my ex-wife about how many I drank. She knew they were bad for me. I would say, oh, I only have them on the weekends. You know, or, you know, sometimes I have them during the week, and I only have three or four a week, but it was really like I was drinking, you know, 10, 15 of them a week. And uh, just couldn't stop, and it really began to, like, control my life where I would think about it constantly and I would have to have one for breakfast every morning and I would know every gas station in my area and around my work and what flavors they had and you know how well their stock was and always thinking about getting my next fix. I really had control of my mind and I felt just so dependent on it. I felt so terrible when I wasn't, you know, getting my caffeine buzz. And I tried all these ways to quit. I tried, you know, I read tips on the internet of every single possible method. I told people I knew, and they're like, oh, just drink green tea, or just, you know, what I do is I put lemon in water and drink that, and none of that worked at all. And um, I was having more problems with my teeth because of it, and I was feeling, you know, depressed a lot of the time when I didn't have it. It was getting to the point where I felt normal on it, like not high on caffeine and it's like completely a mess not on it. And uh, that was bad. And I really, I really, I wanted to do something about it for a long time and it was, I finally started getting into raw foods and got more into my health a couple of years ago. I finally like realized that it was like the biggest thing holding me back from being healthy among other things like didn't like if, even if I ate considerably better like if I didn't stop with the caffeine and energy drinks like I wasn't going to get any better it became like the number one rock to move out of the way and so I finally broke down and did something I investigated years ago but never tried was hypnosis and um, I gotta say that worked like magic and I'm usually a pretty like straight-laced guy. I don't believe in a lot of the spiritual woo-woo stuff. At least I used to believe in a lot less of it than I do now. But I was like, I'm willing to try anything. And I said, does it have to, do I have to believe in it for it to work? And the hypnotherapist said, no, you don't have to believe in it to work. I've helped hundreds of people quit smoking, quit bad habits. Um, we'll do it. May 13th, 2011, that was the day of my first session, and that morning I'd had an energy drink, and it was my last one I ever drank. And, uh, yeah, I went in for one session, and then we did a follow-up session to, uh, to cement it in. If I ever really needed that, I don't know, but I've, I haven't had one since, and I have no desire to, and I'm really glad it's out of my life. know what it's like to have a habit that you can't break. Um, I would highly recommend hypnosis. It's very, very, very effective. So, that is my story. Take care, guys.